the way we've come since 2009, rising up from eighth in the world to now fourth, you know, that, that process has been in place throughout. And I think, you know, getting ourselves to that, that final at the Champions Trophy just in January in Argentina, which is the top eight nations in the world playing off to play Argentina in their home turf. Hopefully if the roles can be reversed and, you know, we play on our home turf in a final, that might just carry us through and give us that competitive edge. You know, still can't quite believe that I'm going to be going to Olympic Games and, and in my home country. It's an absolutely, you know, absolute honour to be a part of this GB women's squad and I think it's a really exciting time for us. Um, we're constantly on the app and we're constantly striving for better things and so I think, you know, London is going to be a fantastic opportunity. It's so competitive. We have a fantastic um, depth in our squad with 28 of us um, and, you know, as Danny said, competition for places was so close um, and all you could do was just keep keep improving, keep trying to perform and, and you know, we all know that Danny pick, will pick the right, right team and, you know, I'm just grateful to be, be in that. Unfortunately, in the final of the test event, uh, a week and a bit ago, I, um, I tore my lateral ligament in my uh, ankle. Unfor it's unfortunate, sometimes it happens in sport, but I've very much got a time scale of four to six weeks post-injury to get myself back fit. So uh, the London Test event, the Investec London Cup, I'm really, really keen to, to try and get fit for that, but that's not the priority. Obviously, the priority now is very much getting me fit long-term for the start of the Olympic Games. I think it was you know, really important stepping stone in our process towards London um, to experience competitive matches on the pitch, um, to experience the, the home crowds, and also you know, to get some of the nerves out of the way. And I think it was really important um, preparation for us and also you know, not conceding any goals, getting the wins is always, always a good sign. <laughs> we see you know, the, home, the home support, being in our home country, as, a, as an advantage to us and you know we're just going to use that to make us want to perform better and at the end of the day we know that we will go out there and give our 100 percent and that's that's all that everyone can ask for i feel really privileged to play in front of our fans and how much you know how passionate they have been about hockey and how exciting it is to sort of have that audience behind us and the whole of Great Britain really supporting us and we've sort of felt that to some extent at the test event and that to just be ramped up at the Olympic Games I think it's just going to be a very special time to be any Great Britain athlete but of course slightly biased a GB women's hockey player.